Hey everybody, it's your old pal Calorically9 here, and welcome back to this brand new video. If you guys love my YouTube channel and want to keep supporting me, please make sure that you like, comment down below, and share today's video with your friends and family, as your support is very much appreciated. Also, if you want to follow us on our other social media accounts for announcements, new videos, and more, make sure you follow them all in the links in the description down below. And finally, if you love my YouTube channel and want to see new videos, please make sure that you press the red subscribe button and turn on the bell for new videos every single week. Anyways, from all of us here at Calor Player 9 Productions, stay gold, my friends, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Have an awesome day, Salai Nation. Love you all, and enjoy today's brand new video. Pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Caloric Lear 9 Productions presents The Railway Series Episode 4 Edward Gordon and Henry Last Chapter of Book 1 Edward and Gordon often went through the tunnel where Henry was locked up. Edward would say, Toot toot! Hello! And Gordon would say, Poop poop! Ha ha ha! Says you right. Poor Henry had no steam to answer. His fire had gone out. Sutton dirt from the tunnel roof had spoiled his lovely green paint with red stripes. He was cold and unhappy and wanted to come out and pull trains too. But he was locked up in the tunnel where he would remain. Gordon always pulled the express. He was proud of being the only engine strong enough to do it. There were many heavy coaches, full of important people too, like the fat director who had punished Henry. Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Trickety truck, trickety truck, trickety truck, said the coaches. Gordon could see Henry's tunnel in front. In a minute, said Gordon, I'll poop. Poop poop at Henry, and rush through and out into the open again. Closer and closer Gordon came. He was almost there when crack! Weesh! Suddenly, Gordon was in a cloud of steam and going slower and slower until he came to a complete stop. His driver stopped the train. What has happened to me? I feel so weak. 
You burst your safety valve, said Gordon's driver. You can't hold a train anymore. Oh, dear, said Gordon. We were going so nicely, too. Look at Henry laughing at me over there. Gordon made a face at Henry and blew smoke at him. Everybody got out and came to see Gordon, when suddenly the fat director came. I never like these big engines, always going wrong. Send for another engine at once. While the guard went to find one, they uncoupled Gordon and ran him onto a siding out of the way. The only engine left in the shed was good old Edward. I'll come and try, he said. That's no use, said Gordon. Edward can't pull the train. And Gordon was indeed right. Edward puffed and pulled and pulled and puffed, but he couldn't move the heavy coaches. I told you so, said Gordon. Why not let Henry try? Yes, I will, said the fat director. Will you help pull this train, Henry? Oh, yes, yes, sir, said Henry. So Gordon's driver and fireman lit his fire. Some plat liars broke down the wall and put back the rails. And when he had enough steam, Henry puffed out. He was dirty, his boiler was soaked in wet and black, and he was covered with cobwebs. Ooh, I'm so stiff, I'm so stiff, he groaned. You better have a run to ease your joints, said the fat director, and find a turntable too. Henry came back feeling better, and they put him in front. Boop, boop. I'm ready, said Edward. Toot, toot. So am I, said Henry. Pull hard, pull hard, pull hard, said Edward. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it, said Henry. Soon enough, the heavy coaches jerked and began to move, slowly at first, then faster and faster and faster. We done it together, we done it together, we done it together, said Edward and Henry. You've done it, hooray, you've done it, hooray, said the coaches. All the passengers were excited. The fat director leaned out of the window to wave to Edward and Henry, but the train was going so fast that his hat blew off into a field where a goat ate it for his tea. They didn't stop until they came to the big station at the end of the line. The passengers all got out and said, thank you. And the fat director promised Henry a new coat of paint. Would you like blue or red? Said the fat director. Blue, please, said Henry. Then I'll be like Edward. Edward and Henry went home quietly, and on their way, they held Gordon back to the shed. All three engines are now great friends. Wasn't Henry pleased when he had his new coat? He was very, very proud of it, as all good engines are. But he doesn't mind the rain now because he knows that the best way to keep his paint nice is to not run into tunnels, but to ask his driver to rub him down when the day's work is over.